Posers. Hey, what's up? I was just shooting some Instagram video for our story. We don't know how good the audio is on this. Yeah, it's but we're gonna nice try it. On here. <laughs> I got my fluff on. Oh, nice. So. Maybe the fluff will help. <laughs> so, we're out here. We got Bo's truck. First time drifting it turbo at the track. Jesse's here. Um, he's getting teched. And over there, that's Teddy's truck, which is the four link Tacoma. It's now white. I think it was black in the video of it. And then there's my stroker. <laughs> which is not going on track, although it should be. It should be. That'd be hilarious. Um, anyway, so we're going to see how it all does. I'm going to try and get a lot of video of everybody. Uh, we have this 360 GoPro thing on Bo's truck for now. We're going to put it on Teddy's truck. We're going to put it on Jesse's truck. We're going to try a few different locations. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. You got to talk up. I'm over here. Oh, that's right. We'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> we just hope it doesn't fly off the windshield in the first turn. <laughs> It'd be funny if it did. Yeah. Um, a lot of cool cars here, but not a whole lot of cars here. It's a light turnout, which yeah, means we get a nice. lot of track time, which is super nice. I wish I had a truck. <laughs> <laughs> or a running truck. Or a Miata that ran and drove and I couldn't drive. Which he has. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on track, Bo. Let's get on track. a little oil leak um, it's sliding pretty good powers there the tracks a little slick a lot of getting used to um, but it's doing okay but we got kicked off because oil leak so he's getting some stuff fix the oil leak hopefully get back on track um, these two cars are slaying pretty good lots of horsepower that's an SR BMW But Jesse's doing okay. Um, Teddy's doing okay. It's all going pretty good. Everybody's doing pretty good. You know, you can't really complain. People having problems, people driving good, people leaving already, surprisingly enough. The BMW leaving already. So it is what it is. But not a lot of cars, so lots of track time. 
This Cressida over here has a, a Toyota V8 and one you see it. And uh, it's manual, but he's having problems. He keeps getting kicked off track. Supercharged Corvette. Getting pretty rowdy. They're having problems too. So everybody's having problems.
we on? Testing. Am I on? <laughs> I'm totally on. Jesse Wheelie and Jesse Wheelie's truck. We were at an event Sunday and uh, we went riding. We went drifting with Jesse and Teddy and uh, we just want to talk to them, see what they thought of the event, see what they thought of their trucks and whatnot. Jesse. Hi, hello. To you. Welcome. Welcome. You don't have to talk to my neck. You're probably good right there. Right here. <laughs> What'd you think, dude? It's pretty good. Uh, I had a lot to learn. Um, definitely, uh, Ronnie and Bo helped me out quite a lot. Uh, learning to try and just focus on one corner at a time versus trying to drift the whole track. It's a lot of fun and you feel like you want to do all of it, but these trucks were real low horsepower. And uh, all I have is just, it's all stock with just a rear diff uh, welded and then the sway bar. So uh, I need all the help I can get. But um, after trying to focus on just one corner and conquer that corner, then learning to start to connect a couple of them, and then uh, here today, practicing some donuts, and then uh, eventually we'll move on to transitions and stuff. Did you hurt your truck at all? Nope. Set it on fire or no, anything? No, actually she was great. Uh, the truck was perfect. I'm the one that needs, I need a driver mod. Driver mods, <laughs> we're working on that right now. So. Driver mod. Hey, we're working on a sticker, by the way. A driver mod sticker. So this look guy. for that. Look for that. I'm not even the camera. Well, awesome. I'm glad you had fun. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for your help. Local losers are awesome. Dude, we are awesome. What's up? <laughs> Gets your uh, thing. You have to stand here, parade rest, and be like, "Yes, no." I enjoyed the drift event. You ready? Yes, sir. Fire it up. It's already, been. It's already going. <laughs> Horrible. That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you, Ronnie. Teddy. Yes. Samesies. What's up? Did you did you have fun at the drift event? I had fun at the drift event. It's definitely. Uh... Let me stop you there. Okay, start again. <laughs> it's definitely what? Sorry. It definitely did a lot better having the swirl pot or the. Uh... The other name for it. The surge tank. The surge tank. Or a go. swirl pot, whatever. Uh, yeah, either, either way. I call the toilet the swirl pot. <laughs> it definitely made the biggest difference. I didn't have any uh, starvation issues anymore, so it was a lot easier to actually navigate the track. Nice. So it was definitely a good time. Just slowly getting better with each event. Did you hurt the truck at all? Not that I know of yet. Not that you know of yet. No weird. You say that you're smelling oil these I'm days. Smelling oil, and I'm pretty sure it's my uh, my distributor hole ring because that thing is a mystery in itself. Okay. All right. Did you do this wrap yourself? I did. This is pretty pretty sick. I like this pearl white. Yeah, that's my get first. Closer. Get my closer first, to me. That's my first Come time. closer to me. People need to hear you from here. We might there. have to listen to this video afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is my first time wrapping an entire vehicle by myself. Okay. I've actually done hoods and fenders here and there. But yeah. I want to take the shot of actually doing the entire truck. Is it raining? Dude, I felt some wetness. Yeah. Probably over there. It's raining. Dude, check out that dust devil over there. It's kids starting. There's a there's a dust devil starting over there. Look. We like sprinkles, especially on our donuts. Right. But yeah, it did. It's just nice. I enjoy. I enjoy really like my wrap. I really like the color. It's blinding if you look directly at it in the sun. <laughs> so you're four linked, right? Yes, all the way around. What? Uh, you went with a kit? Like, a, did you go with the Bibani kit? Did he have a kit, or what? Uh, what did no, you get? She went with the uh, Universal chopping block kit from Switch Suspension. From where? Switch Suspension. Switch Suspension. Yeah. Here, get a little bit closer to me. Yeah, from I like Teddy. He's super cute, so I like to be close. It's okay. Thank Dude, it's windy as crap out here. I hope y'all yeah, can is. hear us. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I actually linked my, uh, of course, that would happen when I start talking. I actually linked my, uh, where I got it from in the last video you guys did. Yeah. So anybody wants to go take a look at it, they make also different kinds of four links. If you don't want to go four, I believe they do also have a watch link on there too. So you have your options of what you Dope. want. Dope. Awesome. So do you think you need a wider tire? Are you ready for that or are you good with a skinny tire? I'm actually going back to 17s all the way around. For okay. Something, just so I can have a better footprint down. And you're going around. turbo soon, right? Yes. Hopefully nice. By the 1st of January, I will be turbo. Turbo's where it's at, Jesse Wheelie. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, dude. I'm glad you had fun. Awesome, definitely. Sweet. This is my truck. This is Natasha. She did wonderful at the drift event. Um, actually, we had some issues, which we're going to shoot a video that that to. Bleh. We're gonna shoot a video that kind of details what all happened with with Natasha and why we couldn't drift the whole um, session. Um, but I mean, she did good. The the thing, the take, the big takeaway from this was that the simple turbo series did amazing. I, I feel like we probably got at least 200 horsepower out of this thing, maybe 200 torque. Not really sure. We're still yet to get it on a dyno, but like it spins tires. Response is stu stupid awesome. Um, I love this truck. It's super good. It's nice to be back on the track, drifting a bit, drifting again, and uh, yeah, we hope to do it in the future. Uh, Ronnie's over there behind the camera. Um, he just hit some donies out here, and hopefully he'll be on track soon. Right, Ronnie? 
You can't hear him because he doesn't have a mic. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna walk over to Ronnie so we can tell y'all goodbye. And everybody, look at everybody. There's uh, there's Jake in the background. Jake was a huge help at the drift event, like helping diagnose and troubleshoot and fix trucks and stuff like that. He so had a lot thank of you, Jake. Stuff in his truck to fix stuff. Too. He totally did. He brought like the support kit, which was awesome. Um, Come this way. We got somebody else out here sliding around. Come on through, boy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Some open diff drifting today. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna see y'all in December, right, Ronnie? I hope so. I mean, if I didn't hurt the truck. <laughs> Ronnie just just heard started hearing a tick, so yeah. we don't know what that's about, but we gotta diagnose. It might be a lifter, which would be nice, because it does. It feels like it's low on power too, so maybe it's time for mechanical lifters. Maybe mechanical lifters. Son of a bitch. Anyway, that'll be a video if we start doing that. Yep. Anyways, we out. Bye, guys.